Okay, so here is the new Dolce & Gabbana, the one Leyland Celtion. Let's try it and see what we think about it. So let's talk about the newest release for men uh, by Dolce & Gabbana called The One Luminous Night. Now I got to try this really quickly uh, because they had a tester um, and I'll give you my initial thoughts on it. So this is in a line of uh, it's written in, in the one line. It's from a Middle Eastern line. So they had Royal Night, um, and this one's called Luminous Night. And it's supposed to give you the feeling of uh, the coldness of the night and how hot the sand is at night as well. Um, so it's supposed to be this juxtaposition of uh, cold, and bright and refreshing in the opening and then uh, dries down to something very warm uh, in in the dry down. So is it really that or is it just a marketing scheme? Uh, I'll give you my initial thoughts on it. So I tried this right now, I've had it on for about five hours or so. Um, and the deal with this fragrance, honestly, when it opens, it kind of gives you the idea of there's like, you feel the bergamot, uh, you feel that it's quite refreshing. It's going into a citrus vein, but then um, right now at this point and even within the I would say within the first two to three hours I it got to a point where it really just dried down and what I get now after let's say about five five six hours or so it's definitely more like you get dates, which is a very uh, different, different sort of. Uh, it's I don't want to say it's resinous, but it smells like dates. So it's kind of sweet, um, and it's mixed with a little bit of amber and a tad, a pinch of sandalwood. If you if you blink, you'll miss the sandalwood. There's basically no sandalwood in this. It's just fleeting sandalwood at the very most but the dates is very prominent i would say in the dry down so when i sprayed it it was about i sprayed about maybe like five or six sprays because i didn't know if this was going to go down the the one edt route or is it going to go down the one edp route so regardless uh i'm here to tell you that unfortunately this goes down for at least on my skin uh, the EDT route, the one EDT, because uh, I sprayed like five or six sprays on my arm and right now um, you can barely smell it. Uh, you can barely smell anything unless I get really, really close, then I can actually smell, uh, I can smell it. And you can still smell it a tad, it's very much um, the, the base notes. I would assume within the next two hours or so, it's going to be uh, gone. So it is um, a very interesting fragrance because of the notes that they used in it. I get a little bit of the citrus in the opening um, and it's mixed with your amber sandalwood um, and obviously that, that dates, that's what I really get uh, in the mid and in the dry down. Um, you know, whether or not this is worthy of your collection or worthy of collecting dust, is up to you but for me this is worthy of collecting dust i probably will not be buying a full bottle um but we'll give it a try we'll see how it goes um i will probably be sticking with the one edp because that's the one that i enjoy uh because of the scent profile and because of how it performs so those are my initial thoughts on the one luminous night uh, let me know what you think if you've tried it. It's pretty. It's pretty new. Um, it's uh, it's beautiful. I mean, you've seen the picture of the bottle. Uh, it's blue and it's gold, and it's supposed to give that idea of like royalty and uh, the darkness and the coolness uh, because and the coolness with a bottle because it's blue and the gold is supposed to give it some sort of uh, that dark warmth that they're trying to reflect in this fragrance whether or not they've done that i'll leave it up to you uh if you've liked this video please comment or subscribe 
um, and I'll catch you on the next one.